William, William, what's with the hairdo? Well, I'm just trying to fit in, Judy. <laughs> we'll tell you where he's gonna fit in next on Garden Time. Welcome to Garden Time. We're at French Prairie Gardens and talking about their great event coming up this Thursday. It's Ladies Night. Each time that Judy and I are invited out here to celebrate this event, we help you hang, uh, plant up your hanging baskets. Don't forget that there's wonderful food, there's wine, there's great conversation among friends. It is always a real blast to be here. If you go to French Prairie Gardens Facebook page, you can sign up for that event and get a 20% off certificate to spend that night. Coming up on the show today, though, we're going to show you how you can make your own very special fruit tree by grafting. We'll also be showing you how to get rid of moss and mildew on your patio and deck. But first, snakes on a plane. William, they're in the garden. So I have to tell you, I'm very excited to be here. I am at uh, OSU and I'm with a professor whose name is Bob. That's all you'll give me is Bob. Now, <laughs> Bob, what are you a professor of here? So I'm a professor of integrative biology uh, here at Oregon State University. And the reason that we're talking to you is because there is so much information in movies, in books, on television about snakes. And in the Northwest, I don't think that we seem to have a lot of them, but we actually have some that are very helpful for our gardens. What are those snakes? Well, you're right on the money there, William. Yeah, so uh, we actually have a good uh, uh, number of snakes in the Pacific Northwest and in Oregon and Washington specifically. And uh, so the snakes that I think are most commonly encountered by people in their gardens are, are garter snakes which is another good one to get on there. Not yeah. garden snakes, but garter snakes. And they really, they're, they're pretty just gentle creatures to us, aren't they? They really are. And so I know some people have issues with snakes and so forth, but garter snakes really are very gentle. They, uh, they, they just, uh, they, they don't bite. Uh, they, uh, they'll run from you if you give them a chance. Uh -huh. So they, they're really more worried about being stomped on or, or eaten by your cats and your dogs. And so as like a that. gardener, why would I care if I have them, and why would I want them to actually be in my garden? Well, this was I was excited to get a chance to talk to you too, William, <laughs> because uh, I, I it's a it's a little uh, it's a it's a not a well kept secret that garter snakes just love to eat what I think is most gardeners' worst enemy, and that would be slugs. Really? So slugs are a garter snake's just chocolate candy. And they, see, I like to think that I know stuff I did not know. In my mind, I never knew that slugs would be eaten by snakes at all. Absolutely, yeah. So the garter snakes and actually some of the other species as well, they love to eat uh, slugs. I've had reports from lots of gardeners who screwed up their courage and, got, and <laughs> threw the snakes into the garden and sure enough they will take care of them. But also things like beetle grubs and, uh, and other associated, uh, you know, uh, even fly maggots, things like really? that. They, yeah, they will, they will really take them take So them to you town. said that, that they screwed up their courage and they threw them in. You're suggesting if you don't see snakes in your yard, you could actually find some and add them to your garden then. You sure could. We were joking just the other day and talking about, you know, get some Boy Scouts or some <laughs> young boys, young girls, get them out in the field. They love to catch those. And they really are ubiquitous around the Northwest. Yeah. So anywhere in parks and around water, especially, you can find them, especially this time of the year when the this, when this temperature's warming up, the sun's coming out. You can get those, you can just translocate them to your garden. As long as you have a place for them to, to spend the night, then you're all set. You will actually make it, uh, make it snake friendly. And in, uh, in your mind, you seem to think that a, a really balanced place has some snakes. You shouldn't want to be snake free necessarily. I think that's the case, yeah, unless you live right in the middle of a city or something. That's really a sign by having snakes, snakes are uh, eating things, things eat them. That's really a sign that nature's in balance, and, and especially for those of us that live here in the Northwest, we're very in tune to that, uh, to our environment and to, to living a good, healthy life. And so the snakes are a good indicator that, that things are in good shape in that regard. So what would I need to do in my garden to get me some snakes? If I saw one, but I want more, what can I do? Well, good question. So I always say most gardeners, uh, no matter what kind of parcel of land you're on, have some area off in the corner that's yeah. just got last year's pots and pans, and sometimes they've got uh, 
uh, boards or old tins yeah. or things like that. And if you just kind of spread those out or even some of the black plastic people like to put down to keep uh, weeds, uh, weeds at bay, uh, that's anything that the snake can get under is something where they can feel safe and that's where yeah. they can spend the night, that's where they're safe from dropping temperatures and so forth. So if it's off in the corner there, that'll be a nice little refuge for them. It's not something that's right up next to your house and so you'll be all, you'll be all set. Well listen, I, I know that there's many different thoughts on snakes. All we want to do is tell you that they really do help a garden quite often. So for more information, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to OSU and you can get a whole list of great information on how you can add them and create balance in your own garden. Thank you so much, Professor Bob. I really have appreciated it. All right, William. It was my pleasure. Garden Time is brought to you by Capital Subaru, your way on the parkway. When I came to Capital Auto Group the first time, I was looking at a WRX, of course, never financing a car before. I was very limited when it came to, you know, putting money down and stuff like that. It's the Subaru Love Spring event. Right now, choose from over 170 Subarus and make no payments for 120 days. Plus, Subaru will plant a tree for every new Subaru sold. They actually cared about me and what I wanted, not what they wanted. At Capital Subaru, I got it my way on the parkway. Over the 30 years that our family has been in the nursery industry, we've learned that anyone can supply a customer with plants and garden supplies. But it's supplying those plants and supplies backed by a knowledgeable staff that can transform a garden and take it from ordinary to extraordinary. That's what we do at Sagawa Nursery. Why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? Sagawa Nursery, growing beyond the ordinary. For over 75 years, Collier Arbor Care has provided tree, shrub, and lawn care services to the Portland metro area. From large tree to small shrub pruning, tree removal and stump grinding, we can handle all your tree care needs. Our arborists diagnose and treat your toughest insect and disease problems. We also have organic solutions for growing and maintaining healthy lawns, as well as organic nutrition for your trees and shrubs. Call your Arbor Care, environmentally friendly since 1937. At French Prairie Perennials, we take pride in being different. From our rare, unique, and unusual plant material and handcrafted garden art to our visualscaping program, we can help you create an outdoor living space as unique as you are. Our gift shop has home and garden decor and gifts for all occasions. Visit our store in the heart of Oregon wine country, French Prairie Perennials, Dundee, Oregon. Outdoor living elevated. Well, there's a great event coming up Thursday. I'm at French Prairie Gardens with Katie. And Katie, what's going on? Well, we're having our annual ladies' night event, and it's going to be this Thursday from 3 to 7. And we've got lots of fun things going on. Uh, RSVP for 20% off all your purchases. Oh, wow. We have uh, Create Your Hanging Basket class at 3.30. We'll show you how to create your basket. We'll keep them here for a couple weeks. Oh. Oh, Grow them out for you guys. Um, and you and William are going to do all the dirty we work. Have a blast. <laughs> so, doing all the planting for the ladies. And then, of course, during the night, we have beer and wine mm. and lots of food. Uh, we also have a behind the scenes greenhouse tour. Oh, what's uh, all about that though? Well, we're going to kind of take everybody behind where we grow and Fun. see uh, the nitty gritty on the farm. And we're also <laughs> opening up our brand new retail space. We're going to open up three greenhouses, so more baskets to Whoa, choose from. Oh, that is because they grow really beautiful plants. They're really cool displays. I love what you've done this spring, and uh, it's just more to come. That's wonderful. Yeah, exactly. And then we're going to do a plant show and tell. So we'll walk around, show you all the new basket combinations, Ooh. the fun new plants this year, and just make that kind of fun of it. And don't forget to RSVP for our Ladies Night event for our 20% off shopping pass. You can go to our Facebook page or simply call us. So Katie, there's classes during the evening too? There is. So we're going to finish up the evening with uh, Antique Your Yard. So oh. show how you can turn your 
junk that you <laughs> normally send off <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> exactly, into some beautiful planters and fun little things in your yard. And you know, we're going to be hungry too. We're going to be having a little bit of uh, drinks, and so we're hungry too? Oh, of course. <laughs> we do good food here on the farm, and so we'll have lots of different appetizers and things to kind of keep you keep you going. And of course, uh, we have six taps here on the farm, Ooh. a wine, cider, so lots of things to keep you going. Yeah, but also there's treats in the store and all kind of gift items there. There is. We have Scratch Bakery on the farm. We also have lots of gourmet gifts, scarves, towels, uh, cards, candles, all that fun stuff. Yeah, you know, it's a really great event. William and I have come in a few years now, and we always have a fun, fun time meeting everybody, kind of schmoozing and helping people with their baskets. It's really a great event. It is. It's a lot of fun. We have ladies that come year after year and uh, grab your girlfriends or your friends and just come on out. Yeah, you know, if you have any other questions, go to Gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website and you can sign up and really come out Thursday. It's going to be a great time. Thanks so much. Garden Time is brought to you by Portland Nursery, a passion for plants, a nursery for plant people. Hi, I'm Sarah from Portland Nursery, where spring is our favorite time of year. It's the time to prepare your garden for planting. We invite you to get a jump on spring with our huge selection. Let Portland Nursery's staff of professionals help with groceries you can grow. We've got the seeds, veggie starts, and expertise to ensure your success. Visit PortlandNursery.com for a list of classes and special events. Portland Nursery, helping make your backyard your favorite destination at 50th and Stark and 90th and Division. Millions of tulips transform an Oregon farm into one of the most colorful in America. The Iversons invite you to the Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival presented by Silverton Health. Enjoy a tulip market, food and wine, and fun for the kids. The Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival, open 9 to 6 daily now through May 3rd. Since 1926, the Bonide Company has worked with homeowners to make their homes and gardens beautiful. If you have a garden problem, Bonide has the answer. Prevent insect damage on all your trees and shrubs, even those taller plants. Annual Tree and Shrub Insect Control works from the inside out with one easy application and will leave your plants pest-free for up to one year. Visit Bonide.com to find a local retailer and to download your free Bonide Problem Solver app for your iPhone or Droid. Kick off your spring ride at the annual Ladies' Night at French Prairie Garden. Enjoy champagne and strawberries as you learn about new plants for the coming year. Join us for a basket planting party. Experience the best the country has to offer at French Prairie Gardens. Since 1937, our family has been deeply rooted in the Northwest nursery industry. Our love of plants goes back four generations. To this day, Garland Nursery inspires to bring you the very best variety of plants, top quality garden supplies, and all the pieces you need to create a beautiful and bountiful garden. Garland Nursery, inspiring beautiful and bountiful gardens. On this sunny morning, I am at a very interesting place. I'm at Clackamas Community College, but I'm at the Home Orchard Arboretum with Monica. Monica, what a cool Hi. place. Yeah, this is a really unique spot. We have an acre and a half of fruiting plants here that's been around for about 30 years. Wow, yeah. and so today we're gonna talk about grafting and really explain what is grafting because a lot of people really don't understand what that means. Right, well, so grafting is essentially taking two different kinds of fruit trees and putting them together. Most every fruit tree is grafted Ah. Um, so it's something that's happening all the time whether we're aware of it or not. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, and what are these trees right here? Because they're all in a row and they're kind of similar, but maybe not? Right, not exactly the same. What we have here is a demonstration of how we can have the same type of fruit on a tree, but that they can be very different sizes depending on what rootstock we've grafted those fruits onto. Oh, so if I eat a Melrose apple and I plant that seed, that's not going to work? No, no, yeah, it's, <laughs> you could plant that seed, but you wouldn't get a Melrose apple tree. You'd get something that's genetically never existed before. <laughs> So if you want to make sure that you have a Melrose apple, you need to graft a scion onto a rootstock. Ah, and we're going to show that later, but we're going to go see a cherry tree first. So let's go see that one. All right. Now, Monica, this is really interesting because there's actually four different flavors on this cherry tree. So why would I want to do that? Well, we are the Home Orchard Society, so ah. we want to help people uh, choose what's appropriate for them at home. And a lot of people don't have a ton of space. True, that's so true. So we want to, uh, with grafting, we can actually be putting more than one type of cherry on a single tree so that you get that variety without taking up so much space in your yard. Ah. And 
Let's look at that. Yeah, let's take a look. So here, these four separate large branches are each a different kind of cherry, but they're all grafted onto the same tree. And you can kind of see the change in the bark. Years ago, when this was grafted, this is where the rootstock ended, and this is where the grafts were made with the scion, giving us four different types of trees, or wow. four different types of fruit on the one tree. Well, that is just so cool, and we're gonna actually demonstrate how you can do that right for your own self. Yes. <laughs> oh, so cool, let's go over there. Thanks. Monica, we get to see exactly what grafting is, and these are little baby plants. They are. This tree um, over here is was grafted this time last year. You can tell where the graft was because it's got this yellow goop on it here. Okay. And last year it grew this whole length in just one year. Wow, really good graft. Then this one here is one a tree that was grafted just yesterday. And again, you can see where the graft was made. The scion, this top part, was cut back. And hopefully it will take off this year and grow just as much as that one did last year. And so winter is the key, it sounds like. Winter's the time to graft. We took um, the scions, which again is, is the word that I'm using to okay. describe this one year growth that we use. This is going to be what you need to get um, the fruit variety that you okay. want. So again, we talked about it at the rootstock demonstration over in the first uh, scene, but this is a Melrose scion that we took one year growth, and now we're gonna use it to graft and make our tree. Okay. Because again, just to remind everybody, the bottom half here is the rootstock below. That's what's gonna determine what kind of soil our tree can grow well in, as well as how big this tree is gonna get. Ah, and that's the cool thing about grafting, because you, you can choose both parts and make one tree. Yes, you get to mix and match. Uh -huh. So again, if you want a small tree, you want to get a smaller dwarfing rootstock. Right. If you're okay with a large tree, then you can get a larger rootstock that'll grow much taller. Ah, okay. Um, but on the home scale, you might really want to choose small trees, because they're much easier to work with. Definitely. Um, you don't have to get on ladders, you don't have to have fruit that's out of reach. So we really do try to promote people using more of these dwarfing rootstocks. And then about from this size to fruiting, I can get, pick an apple, how many years? So it's probably gonna take you about three to four years before you're gonna see many apples off of a tree that you start with when it's this young. And you really are gonna wanna strip any fruit during those first few years because that allows that energy to go into the roots and the branches before you get the fruit. Um, so it's just a good investment for your tree to wait a little bit before you ask it to do a lot of fruiting. All right, and now we're going to actually do a demonstration on how to do this. And Melissa is a expert, so go right ahead. <laughs> okay. So what we have here is we've made, already made the cut on our rootstock. It's this angled cut, and it reveals to us this cambium here, which is the green part just underneath the bark. And that's what we're going to try to line up. So then we take some scion. All right. Anyone here? Oh, okay. And what we want to do is you'll notice this all was one year growth, but it's thicker down here and thinner up here. So what we're looking for is something that's going to be similar to where the rootstock is, which is kind of in here. So I'm going to cut this down and then I'm going to try to match this cut with my scion. And I do that with a really specific gesture here. Let's see if I can do it. Because the, the, the better the match, the better the graft, and then it'll really take it, it'll take and live. And live much better. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is line up a much, as much of this cambium on our scion with this cambium on our rootstock. I've also made this secondary cut here. We're going to do what's called a whip and tongue graft. So I'm going to turn this, cut this little groove here. And it just helps it attach together better. Yeah, this is going to help it anchor together much better. So now we slide these two together. Let's see if I've made my cuts correctly. You know, I think there it's a go. really great process and it's, it takes a lot of practice, but you're having an event that would really help newbies be very successful with this. Yeah, so we have, um, it's called our Fruit Propagation Fair and we're gonna have, again, these are scions. This is what you need to use for your grafting. We're gonna have, of, of apple alone, we're gonna have about 500 different varieties that you could choose from. So again, you could pick that variety, come get a rootstock from us and make your own tree. Ah. So what's important to just finish this graft is that we don't need all of this here. That's way too many buds. We're gonna to want to cut back to just two or three here and then line up this cut so that one side has good contact. And then what we do is we wrap this with a rubber band Wrap it up, Okay. put some of this goop on to keep out moisture, but to lock the moisture inside 
from the tree itself. Uh, and so the event that you were talking about with over 500 varieties of apples to graft is coming up just next weekend. And you go to the website and go to gardentime.tv and see all the information and go see all of the information. Go see the Home Orchard Society people and ask all your questions and really um, bring home a graft of your very own apple or pear and have it in your garden to um, collect your own fruit from. Yeah, it's great. You get to grow your own. You get to pick exactly what you want and you get to kind of experience the whole process of growing this fruit tree from a young tree to something that's going to give you food later in life. Well, thank you for all the information and the demonstration. It's been so interesting. Well, thanks so much. Locally grown, fresh from the farm, stylish and sustainable, your dream yard starts at Owl's Garden Center. Create an inviting gathering place for family and friends with a new patio furniture collection. Our beautiful furniture transforms any outdoor space, large or small. It's like having an extra room outdoors. Then add impact with colorful pottery. Hundreds of unique designs and sizes all on sale now. Owl's Garden Centers in Woodburn, Sherwood and Gresham. Your garden is only as good as the ingredients you use. That's where Black Gold can help. Black Gold Seedling Mix is formulated for successful seed germination and strong seedling growth. Black Gold Seedling Mix is organic and OMRI listed, so you can start this year's organic garden outright. Look for Black Gold at your local garden center or go online to blackgold.bz. Black Gold, all the riches of the earth. Millions of tulips transform an Oregon farm into one of the most colorful in America. The Iversons invite you to the Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival presented by Silverton Health. Enjoy a tulip market, food and wine, and fun for the kids. The Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival, open 9 to 6 daily, now through May 3rd. It's spring clearance time at Standard TV and Appliance. Save up to 81% on closeouts, overstocks, floor models, and special purchases. In every category at Standard, including washers and dryers, ranges, wall ovens and cooktops, top brand dishwashers, freezers and refrigerators, the largest selection of beauty rest mattresses, and the best HD TVs. Plus, right now at Standard, save up to 60% on display and closeout pro-style cooking products. Hurry, this spring clearance ends soon. Standard TV and Appliance. Kick off your spring ride at the annual Ladies' Night at French Prairie Garden. Enjoy champagne and strawberries as you learn about new plants for the coming year. Join us for a basket planting party. Experience the best the country has to offer at French Prairie Gardens. So I'm here to talk about a great product that actually takes care of moss and algae on roofs and different patios. And it's wonderful because it's a local company. I'm here with Jill Collier. How are you, Jill? I'm doing great. And it is your family that actually came up with this product mm -hmm. called 30 Second Cleaner decades ago. Right. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, he invented it and put it on the retail market in 1977. And he was your father, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you, you've been around for all of this progress of how it's become so popular and really works well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very popular here in the Northwest. And so now I'm going to turn over to this chap here whose name is James Collier and you're going to tell us why, why does it work well? What is it that makes this product so great? You know, that's a long story. <laughs> can, <laughs> but can, we, can we shorten it a bit? <laughs> we can shorten it a bit. It's the ease of use. You sp literally spray it on, agitate with a brush, hose it off. Safe around plants, pets and lawns. And it just gives that instant, sparkling, clean result that people want easily. And it's, it seems to me like, you know, when someone says that, you want these great examples. You want some evidence of how it works. Certainly. So not only do you have 30 years of, of evidence with right. different customers, but you actually have a piece of wood here that very clearly shows the difference of the products because you've tested this. Absolutely. So, Certainly. And we get a lot of feedback from customers who've used it who just swear by it and send us their before and after pictures themselves, sure. which we can share with you. We had this piece of wood here and in the middle section that we're showing right here is what was on this piece of wood that was left out. Um, out in the yard for a period of time and we cleaned it just on the section with the 30 seconds. Wow. S mixed it on according to the directions, one to one, saturated the surface evenly, brushed with the grain and then just rinsed it off with the hose. And you can see you've got a bare piece of wood there ready to be resealed, stained yeah. or varnished, uh, whatever the preference is. So. And the funny thing is on the other side of this was another product that you used and it, it worked but 
eventually it comes back and that's one of the great things about this product correct it tends to keep the moss and algae going correct yeah so you get a lot of surface cleaners that are out there but nothing that deep cleans and penetrates draws stain out of the surface yeah especially in the composite decking where you get that black stain deeply embedded in it or even resin furniture and the 30 seconds will actually draw that stain right out of that surface leaving you with a pristine perfect finish wonderful yeah now i see a whole bunch of stuff sitting right over here beside us Let's go over some of these products and tell me tell me how you'd use them and, and the benefit of the sure. type of product you're using. Right. So to start with the Coca-Cola, the brand that Jill's dad started out in the retail market, which actually goes back prior to her dad in 77 when they were doing commercial cleaning with the product in the days before pressure washers. And this product will do the 30 seconds outdoor cleaner will do what a pressure washer does, simply as we showed you on the wood. And we have it in various pack sizes from the quart, which is a ready to use, to the gallon concentrate that you'd mix in a tank sprayer with water. Uh -huh. uh, one to one at its strongest strength, depending on the porosity and heaviness of growth of the surface, you can dilute it further. Good breakdown of directions on the label. But generally just mixed in a tank sprayer. Here's the 30 seconds tank sprayer that you see here with the Viton seals and gaskets that will hold its pressure and last a long time that you can get at most retailers in the Pacific Northwest. Well, and what I like about this is not only does it work on, on roofs and on, on patios, but it also works well on, on stone walls, on concrete, on yes. all of that stuff. So it doesn't matter what this hard surface or exterior surface that you're cleaning, it's working on the organic matter itself, the algae, moss, mold and mildew on the surface. So you could be cleaning your um, slides outside for your kids' furniture, which will clean, sanitize it and be perfectly clean. Your wooden deck, prepping for painting, staining or varnishing, or siding, or pathways, uh, even around your pot plants, be it styrofoam pots, porcelain pots, safe around the plants, just rinse it off into the soil. And like a lot of the, plant, the products that we can use for this, this is really, you just, if you get it on your plants, it's, you just wash it away. It doesn't Correct. really do any damage yes. at all. Yes, it's not going to attack a root system, yes. Okay, yeah. so now to get this great product, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website. You can find out where it's located, where you can go and pick it up and try it out in your own garden and on your own home. Thank you both so much for the information. Thank you. Thank you, William. Thank you very much. William and I want to thank you for watching today. And don't forget that the French Prairie Gardens Ladies' Night is happening this Thursday. And we can't wait to see you all and have a real blast there. And, you know, you don't <laughs> have to wear a wig. For more information on what's happened on today's show, we invite you to always go to gardentime.tv. Thank you again for watching. And we'll see you next week here on Garden Time. Why let the weather dictate when you can enjoy your garden? With a greenhouse by Solar Gem, you don't have to. Grow your dream garden year-round right in your own backyard. Our long-lasting fiberglass greenhouses are made for gardening enthusiasts of all skill levels and delivered right to your home. Solar Gem greenhouses need no assembly, are virtually maintenance-free, and come with a limited lifetime warranty. Call us at 800-383-3055 or find us on the web at solargemgreenhouses.com. If you build it, build it right, build it to last, don't just build it for yourself, build it for the next generation, build it with Par Lumber and keep building the great Northwest. Par Lumber is celebrating 85 years as a local family owned company. From our house to yours, we send a heartfelt thank you. The proceeding was a paid program of the Gustin Creative Group and its sponsors.